scared me. I'm filming you. We're filming. We're going to the doctor. It's one of those things that we do, me and you, we film. Yeah, we just dropped George off at my sister's. There's like two little dogs that live next door and they're always outside and I always say hi to them. They're nice dogs. Their owner always lives them outside. Like during snowstorms. Sad. But we're going to the doctor right now. 36 week, big appointment, hopefully an ultrasound. Get to see little baby James. Let's go! Yeah, I just feel at ease. I feel not the need to run. Also, every time I come here, I'm kind of competitive and I like size up the other pregnant ladies and I'm like, probably more pregnant than you. <laughs> and this time I probably it's a fun am. competition. <laughs> I might be winning this time. It's not time. one you can really like excel at besides weight. You know, well, you're just like, hmm, she's probably farther than me. Yeah. Probably farther than everyone here today. Probably in 36 weeks, baby. We're almost there. Let's go. We got back here a lot faster than we usually do. I forgot to pee in the cup. <laughs> there I was. Just holding her cup. Just going. And I it's was okay. like, wait. Wait, 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 come back. I'm supposed to catch this. <laughs> she got a little bit. The nurse said it was good enough. You could keep tips where proud of you. Well done. Thanks. Well, hopefully we don't have to sit here for like two hours like last time. I was so proud of myself. I was like, wow, this is more than <laughs> I usually do. You get excited about those things. She went on autopilot. Autopilot. moving a little faster today. We should always come at 4.30. We still had to sit for 30 minutes though. Yeah, I'm falling asleep. Yeah, you stayed up late watching The Bachelor. Well, <gasps> fell asleep and then we woke up at, what time did you wake up to watch the rest? Like Midnight? One. You were awake from one to three or four? Jeez, I was fast asleep. <laughs> Me and Luna. She and Luna watching The Bachelor. The most awkward part was that she, Becca just kept asking him to leave and he just was like, Here, let's do but it. I, <laughs> but I let's like just, Becca. But I like Lauren. Just leave. Okay, but I just need to talk to you. I like Lauren. It's, but no, it's not you. It's Lauren. It's not you. Just leave. <laughs> He's like. And he just sits there. Whew. Awkward. Awkward two hours. They really drug that out. She had nowhere to go. Just leave. <laughs> you didn't leave. Hey, Becca, you want a banana? Any other big issues you can think of? How's your mom doing okay? Whenever this world gets the best of me And it all goes wrong I count down the hours to the time we meet and I move along Cause I know that when I see you I will be Happy as a sun Lighter than a feather Walking on the clouds We just got out We were there for a long time Talked a lot about things. Talked a lot about things, deciding whether to do V-back or C-section still. We're a C-section. C-section? Yeah. Why? Well, what did he say? Talked a lot about, like, he was like, if you want to do a V-back, and I was like, I don't really care. And he was like, if you want to have five kids, I would do a V-back. And I was like, nope. Nope? Dylan was like, <laughs> say no, say no. So he was just like, you know, like there's risk factors and like you've already had a C-section so if you kind of want to avoid any sort of 
issues. Issues with like your bladder or just things. He was like, you had a really big things. baby the first time. The main reason that like he suggests a C-section is because George was really big and Ashley was in labor for a long time and had failure to descend. And he's guessing that the second baby will also be really big. And I guess he was just kind of trying to assure me, like C-sections aren't all bad. Like you're never going to have bladder issues or things like that. So there, he was like, there is a pro. It's not just like terrible surgery. Yeah. He was like, I do a lot of repairing things. Yeah. So I don't know. A lot of that stuff I was like, oh, I don't want to know. Uh, yeah, so we didn't do the ultrasound because we're just pretty sure it's gonna, well, we know it's gonna be a C-section, so <laughs> we don't really need to do an ultrasound. But we did hear the heartbeat, super heartbeat cute. Heartbeat good, everything's good. Ashley's blood pressure is good. It's getting better every day. Just staying strong. <laughs> I would say the hardest thing this pregnancy is definitely like body issues, like perception body also how it actually looks and I try and be like you're not that's just your mind but then I like I've edited our vlogs every day and I see it every day and I'm like nope <laughs> you really are pretty huge you shut up and it's just you're beautiful no I get I get you're like, pregnant I feel like I'm like this vessel for a human and a lot of women I think really just thrive in this environment and I'm just not one of them oh. <sighs> It's thrive no, the like, right word. I really like some women truly like love being pregnant and I I like love my baby. It's like a special thing but it's obviously very physically uncomfortable. No, it's not just that like I don't like I don't feel beautiful when I'm pregnant. I don't feel like sexy <laughs> you, as you know. She doesn't. It's just like it's I tell like, her she's beautiful every day, and I freaking dig her, and I love her, and she lost her all this pregnant weight so fast after our last. I'm not one, like stressing about it that. It's just so weird, and like it can get to your mind to like see your body and not feel like it's your body. It's like when you can't find a seat somewhere. I freak it's out like, when I gain I one can't. pound. It's not even just that. It's just like I don't look like me and it's so weird and it just kind of like wears on you especially like I don't know like I've always kind of had like self like body image issues just like not like intense but like never been the most self-confident and just to like like see what I look like and I get that it's like beautiful and natural and awesome but like it's weird to look at your body and not feel like it's your body it's, I could get that. It's I could weird. see that. And it's kind of like you, I never can be like, I don't know, like relaxed or comfortable. Yeah. Because I'm just like, I don't feel like I'm in my body. It's like I gave my body away, which I did. Like being pregnant is the most selfless, like giving. It's like such a Christ-like thing to do, really. And I wish I was more like into that. Like... That makes it so great for me. <laughs> well, it's still so hard. I know, but like, I wish I could focus on that and be like, yes. But I'm just well, not. Just that know girl. that you're getting a fast pass to heaven. If I don't, kingdom. I'm. If I don't, I'm cutting the line. <laughs> yeah. No. This is this is you going to the fast pass lane right now and just getting your ticket. This is a special thing that you're doing. I don't think someone who goes to like heaven is like if I if I'm not getting it, I'm cutting the line and breaking down the door. <laughs> Probably not. <laughs> no. But seriously, you're amazing. You're I'll doing so sure. good. You're handling this so well. I'm not. You don't. I mean, like you're. <laughs> I'm so not. You're handling it. Like, you're doing it. Even though it's hard, you're pushing through this, and doing it. This is my and that's OB what's amazing. This is my OB appointment. What can I, what can I give you, Dr. Merrill? <laughs> <laughs> Push my due date up one or two weeks. And he's like... He's like, you can come shovel my driveway. <laughs> he's like, nothing. And I'm like, no, like... Is it that unethical to change the date? And he's he said just like, the line in the sand is 36 weeks. He can't do anything about it unless her blood pressure is really high or something. I know. So, 
And I'm, he always makes these jokes, and I'm like, well, I looked that up, and you guys double check, so it wouldn't work for me. <laughs> and he's like, and he's yeah. like, oh, you're really serious. <laughs> yeah. No, but you are amazing. A lot of our followers are pregnant too, following along. You are amazing. Like, just the fact that it's so hard and it sucks physically and mentally, and you're still pushing through this and not giving up I've, is like <laughs> amazing. Like, I admire you. You're angels, literally. You are Christ like angels. For serious. This is like the most hard, difficult, sacrificing, self-giving, selfless thing that you can do on earth, I think. One day in the future, I will look back on it and be like, yes. Like, but right now, it's really I'm hard like to say that. I'm just like sarcastic jerk about pregnancy right now. No, but after, after it's all over, you'll look back and you will see. Right. Yeah. In other news, we scheduled when we're putting the IUD in. <laughs> Also we did. Did we? I mean, he was like, do you want it? And we were like, yep. 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 It was like, okay, see you in 12 weeks after the baby. Uh-huh. And I was like, you want to push that date up? Yeah. So, 36 weeks. We got a few more. And the baby is here. Yep. We're excited. Yep. Thanks for joining us, you guys. Are we done? Are we? We could be. Let's go get that baby. Let's go find our baby. Oh, oh car. Okay, wait, it turned. Sorry. Still it. I can't. Oh. <gasps> He's alive! There he is! Hey, my son. It's so clear. We're back. Oh, oh hello. Back. We went and heard your sister's heartbeat. How was it? It was good. Good. It was good, good, good. Mm -hmm. How was George? Oh my gosh. That's as big as you. It hurts to walk. We are to the point where it hurts. Don't go down there. Little Easter slash blessing gown. Go show them the room. <laughs> you swore.